Okay, so this is more information about the backpack. Your Namaste handbag is made from PVC free polyurethane. <laughs> Hi and welcome to the ultimate holiday crafter gift guide 2019. My name is Carmen from New Leaf Designs and I'll be showing you some great gifts for the crafter who has it all. So to start off I have some wonderful goodies from Kohana. Uh, some are gifted, some are bought by myself. So but really all of the opinions in this video are my own so you can trust me on this um kohana is a japanese brand and makes really high quality craft products and it's they are perfect gifts for um as I said, the crafter who has it all. So for example, my mom, <laughs> who I hope will not be watching this video, um, she really loves to knit and crochet, but she doesn't want any more yarn because it puts pressure on her to make stuff. So instead, I got some tiny goodies, and not so tiny goodies. <laughs> And I'm going to do a little unboxing with you all and show you what the product is all about. So first up, I'm going to start with the biggest box. These are the Himeji uh, leather pouches. And I'm just, it's uh, packaged in a box like this and then wrapped in plastic. I'm just going to take off the plastic because honestly, it's still pretty without plastic. Even prettier, maybe. And I'm just using some... <laughs> Actually, also Kohana snips that I already had in my collection. These are and these are so cool. They're made with samurai grade steel, and then there is I think a name engraved in in there. And see, so I can read Chinese, but not Japanese. I'm not sure. Uh, and then go. Cool like that and then Kohana on the other side and it's wrapped in silk there's a cute metal button on there so yeah very cute so I'm using that to get rid of the plastic okay then we have the box and I always love these little leather pieces um, but <laughs> yeah I always think oh I can reuse those but I never do but they're really cute so, let's see, so I got the yellow one, so these pouches are in five different colors, and this is the yellow one, ooh, I've actually never seen these in real life, so, oh my goodness, <gasps> That is so cute. So cute. So uh, it's a leather pouch and no chemicals are used to process the leather, so to soften it. Um, it's all natural ingredients. There's a leather um, strap as well and then a wooden button. And then it opens like this. It's not very soft, but uh, that will um, come with use. So for now it really stands up like this and then at the bottom there's the Kohana logo and the text Kohana so you can really use this for um, the mini scissors that I will be showing you in just a bit and maybe the um, uh, measuring tape that will fit in there uh, they are nine centimeters across so it's not huge these products are perfect for the crafter that values high quality products and um, well kind of more minimalistic I don't know because I don't know oh they're so cute so so cute so I'll just keep this out of the box for now so it's the Himeji pouch uh, available in five different colors so there's uh, yellow green which is 
something like this and then a blue which is more dark navy then a pink and a gray and sometimes they have special Christmas editions as well so that's number one number two I think these are the scissors I have some of these scissors myself but I put them in a project bag somewhere so I'm just gonna open the one that I got and these are yellow as well so you can you can get a whole series of one color and that's just really <laughs> pleasing to the eye so just gonna take this out of the plastic again it's in a really cute cardboard box with this little um, logo on it as well and then you open it and there is a little Kohana booklet, which just has Japanese in it, and a picture of the scissors. And then the actual scissors. Aren't they just the cutest thing? So let me show you how tiny these are. look at that and so they have a little leather pouch that's how tiny they are and uh, so you, obviously you cannot cut fabric with this although I have not tried but um, they're perfect for snipping off uh, ends that you want to weave in on your knitting project um, they're just the cutest thing. They are so cute. Oh, and yeah, I just, these are the must have gift. Seriously. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I just, I could stare at this thing all day. It's so cute. So this is an example of something that fits perfectly. <laughs> in the Himeji pouch. You can't even see it because it's so small. Um, yeah, but I'm really, really excited to gift this one because there will be squeals, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the mini scissors and I'm going to put them back in the box very neatly. Next up, I wasn't sure exactly what this was when I bought it. I it just said magnetic button uh, so I'm just gonna see and I got a different version instead of the yellow one and this has um, gold and silver um, straps on it and I think this might be the Christmas edition uh, it has little stars on the box as well so just gonna open it Oh, it says a winter edition. Okay. So, oh, it's so cute. Okay, so it is a button. Very, very cute. And I think you're meant to use it as a needle minder. So, and I, I have a needle minder, so let me just grab my needle off of that. So when you're sewing in ends, and you, you know you've sewed in one end and then you need to place your needle somewhere and I just always place it on the table and then when I need to find it it's lost and then I'm worried my cat has it so uh, you can just place it on here and it will keep your needle and um, yeah a needle minder so I found that really really handy and I thought when I saw this Okay, that's going to be a really handy gift. It's like, these are just things, you don't need it, but that's what gifts are for, right? You really, you buy something that people don't necessarily need. <laughs> because they wouldn't get it for themselves, but it's really cute. So, um, this is kind of a, um, I think it's stone actually. It's white and then there are little dots on it. And the thread in the middle is, is it silver? What, well, some kind of silver or gold? Quite like that. 
yeah, so that was the um, needle minder button. See, it has the little booklet again, and there you can see it holds the needle, and there are little stitch markers on the button as well. Don't you just love these little boxes? I mean, I'm kind of sad that they come wrapped in plastic, but these are just so cute. So that's three. And I also got a set of, well, you can, you can buy it separately, but it's a notebook with a uh, graph paper and uh, colored pencils. And I'm actually not gonna unpack this because I have the very same set myself. Uh, and this is the green version. So the green version is actually a little bit more blue, but then the actual blue version is more navy blue. So, so this is the yellow version and it's just beautifully packed. So let's take a look at the coloring pencils. So it's a little box and there's a leather tag here and you can just pull that. And there they are. So it's a set of six colored pencils. Uh, there is gray, black, yellow, green, pink, and blue. And so it's, it's the Kohana colors and the addition of black. And uh, so, so these are also available in five colors. And I've used them to draw in my new notebook. So the notebook has a uh, graph paper like this, really tiny uh, squares. They're um, two and a half millimeter. And I use them to draw color work. Um, patterns so and I really like how it looks it's just really cute and um, yeah I needed a pattern I needed a notebook where I just uh, save all of my color work pattern ideas so I'm really happy with that and because I use it so much I thought um, I would gift the same to my mom so I hope she will like it Oh, and then, so I haven't shown you the measuring tape properly. I got this last year or the year before, I'm not sure, <laughs> already a couple of years. So there's a measuring tape in here. Uh, it's all leather. This is called the Yudsen uh, measuring tape. And it's really handy. You can, uh, there are 10 centimeter blocks or like four inches. Um, there are no inches on here. Um, on the back side it's white. So this is the blocked side and then white, but that is also centimeters. So yeah, just centimeters for this one. But um, yeah, I think it's really pretty and it's really soft and it's just it just looks very high quality and luxurious and so there's a there's a button in the middle you can feel it yeah but I've been using this too for years and I really really like it so I think those are all the products of Kohana that I want to show yes I think so so I'm just gonna put this back up next is Nipro, which is a little bit more affordable than Kohana, because, you know, let's be honest, Kohana is not for everyone, but Nipro really have some awesome products that can really help you in your knitting and crochet. So uh, I'm really happy that I got some uh, Nipro knit blockers, and they're not um, singular blocking pins, but they are like combs. So I just, I'll just open this and there are combs in it. I think 20 pieces 
and so you can um, you know for large shawls these are amazing uh, you can just block a whole section with these at you know look how many there are um, and there are also some smaller ones which just have four pins can you see that there yeah um, yeah so I haven't used them yet I just got them but uh, I'm really really excited to use them because with with just the t-pins I was starting to lose my mind and <laughs> these are gonna make my life a whole lot easier and so this is the white version but there's a rainbow version as well I um, and I link to those in the blog post that will go with this video so I've written a blog post with links to all of the products I talk about and it's in a description box below so you can just click that and find the rainbow version of this because oh, it's so so good um, okay continuing on with knit pro I'm really excited for this a knit pro road counter ring so okay here's <laughs> yes so it's a ring uh, and a road counter as well so I already um, tried it on to make sure it fits um, so I would put it on my um, pointer finger um, and then while knitting and I'll, I'll just move the I actually have to show you that first okay so there are numbers on here Uh, so there are two rings, so you can go up to 99 rows with this. Um, and, you know, it, it speaks for itself. So each of the rings are numbered uh, 0 to 9. So you can just um, go from 1, 2, 3, you know. It's very easy. So um, I, I'm definitely going to try this out, see how I like it. Um, but I've already noticed that they come in different sizes though. This is size 7, 17.3 millimeters, and it's a little bit too snug for this finger. So if I push it on too far, then <laughs> I can't get it off. So, but uh, it has to be a little bit tight because otherwise you can't, well, otherwise it's not very easy to twist the, um, rings see this this is working and there's a little bar so I'm not sure if you can see but there's a little bar here that will show you okay this is the place where you need to be reading and not on this side for example so see that on either side of the rings there is this little yellow bar so you know where you need to be reading your room count off so I'm definitely gonna try this out and I'm not sure if many crafters will buy this for themselves because this is a real luxury item so definitely um, look it up if you're trying to find the perfect gift for the crafter um, who has it all although you would need to know their ring size uh, which can be you know <laughs> that's not something you ask every day hey what's your ring size <laughs> anyway this is a really cute gift um, moving on uh, I've got some new stitch markers by Knit Pro, and these are called the Amour stitch markers because they're all heart shaped. I'm just gonna remove the outer plastic. Yes, that's what I thought. I thought it was in a little pouch. I really like that there's a little pouch because I lose my stitch markers all the time. Those are really cute. <laughs> 
I'm really gonna enjoy making uh, using these because um, I don't know if you've ever knit a Stephen West pattern but sometimes you need up to like 20 stitch markers so even if you use four stitch markers at most for most patterns you really need like a big quantity of stitch markers for at least one Stephen West project in your life. <laughs> Last thing from Knit Pro are their new needles called Smart Sticks. Um, and the Smart Sticks have measuring um, things, <laughs> centimeters, on the sticks itself. So these are the two and a half millimeter size. And um, when we when we got these at Bloggers Days, so this is a gift from Scapius, uh, and everyone was like, "Oh no, how am I, how am I ever gonna knit with this?" Uh, because most of the bloggers are crocheters, and I'm one of the only knitters there. So so they were like, "Oh no, how do I how do I use this for knitting?" Well, if you have just bought a circular knitting needle, whether it's fixed circular like this or um, interchangeable circular needles that you need to screw on the um, needles for. If your core is behaving like this, just put it in a bowl of hot water, a couple of minutes, take it out, voila, it will be straight. I just did that yesterday. Uh, you don't need boiling hot water, just, you know, hot tap water fill a bowl with it and then just put it in and after a couple of minutes take it out make sure that it's completely dry because you don't want the water to i don't know if needles can go rusty but just make sure it's dry and then it will be nice and straight again but that's not what i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about the needles because oh they actually start on this side. So, so they are marked all along the needles and the cord itself. Can you see those little dots? Those are two centimeters, which is almost an inch. I know two and a half centimeters is one inch. Um, yeah, so it will say two centimeters, four centimeters, six, eight, 10, 12, yeah, you get the drift. And then uh, here on the other side, it goes up to 80 centimeters. So this is 80 centimeters. So it's really nice to just, you basically have an 80 centimeter ruler right here. But I imagine this being really nice for gauge. So maybe you're, uh, you're knitting your gauge swatch and then you have your um, stitches on this needle and then you can use your other needle to kind of um, yeah measure your gauge so that's it's it's amazing it's you know they're called smart sticks for a reason so I'm gonna try these um, conveniently I was out of two and a half millimeter sock needles so I'm definitely gonna use these uh, and they're not just in two and a half millimeter needles uh, they're I think up to 12 millimeter and so this is the 80 centimeter um, length and then you also have 40 60 and 100 and they all come in different um, colors so all of the 80 centimeter ones are green and I think the 100 centimeter ones are pink 40 centimeter and 60 I don't know but yeah check them out R really really uh, nice alrighty next up let's talk about hook sets crochet hook sets I have two sets um, one of them uh, I don't I don't have the complete set right here uh, because I'm using them, but when uh, my first set was the Clover Amour hook set. Um, uh, Clover again is a Japanese company. You know, Japanese companies like love their stuff. Um, these are they're so so nice. Uh, they have this soft grip, so you know it's it will not slide in your hands. It just you know. 
it's just really nice to hold them. Um, they are the perfect size for me, uh, lengthwise and widthwise. Uh, I also have some ergonomical hooks like this. This is from Addy. These are too long for me. Uh, and I have some other hooks, which are wooden hooks, but then they have like a really um, wide center piece. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but they don't fit my hand quite as nicely. So if you're starting out with crochet and you don't know which uh, needles to get, get these ones. They're really, really nice. You can buy them separately. You can buy them in a set. Um, I wholeheartedly um, recommend these. They're perfect. And I'm gonna make them even look even better because my friend Narissa has made some crochet stitch markers, or you can actually also use them for knitting. But they are made to match the clover amour hooks. And the brilliant thing about this is that, um, you know, Knitting needles stay in your project, but crochet hooks, you know, you can take them out and use them for a different project. And then if you come back to your first project, you might not know which hook size you were using. But if you had attached a Miss Neris, uh crochet stitch marker to your project, you would know, hey, I was using this crochet hook for this project. And See, there's one for the brown one as well, and then the, oops, <laughs> the purple one, the red one, and then the matching one for this is on a project somewhere, or it might be this one. Oh, it might be this one actually. Yeah, so I think that is just so clever. And um, and it's really pleasing to the eye as well. So uh, get yourself a set of those. Or even better, if you know that someone has a clover hook set, go and get them a matching stitch marker set because they will they will be so thankful. So let me show you all the colors. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So I'm really happy with uh, these hooks and these matching stitch markers. And I would definitely recommend this for a beginner crocheter. These are the best. And don't get those rip-off uh, crochet hook sets you see on AliExpress. These are the best. And they're not really hugely expensive, so that's it's just yeah just a nice set so that was the first hook set that i ever owned then a couple of years ago uh escape has gifted me a tulip hook set which is more on the spenzy side but oh, it's just just amazing so um <laughs> they come in this faux leather uh pouch with the branding tulip on there and then this cute hanger um and then the hooks are all pink What I like about a hook set with a case like this is that, you know, I tend to put them back um, where I, whereas I don't with the clovers and then I don't know where they are. <laughs> and the tulips, so um, whenever I can't find a clover one, I'll just go with the tulips. Um, but actually, I've come to like these a whole lot better. So. Let's compare the, the two. So the clover one is really flat here, uh, whereas the tulip one has a little, little bulge there, which is perfect to, um, to put your thumb against. And that is just 
it's really nice. <laughs> I don't think they differ in... Oh, okay, the tulips are a tiny bit shorter and a tiny bit um, thinner as well. But I really like these. Really, really like these. They might actually be my favorite hook set. But, um, so the thing I like most about them is that I can actually put them back in the case and, you know, I just love it when it's all organized. Not that you would know that I like organized things looking at my desk, but, ooh, maybe it's because it matches my sweater um, and it also comes with two darning needles that are in there and it also came with a little pair of scissors that I've taken out but um, it's a really nice pair of scissors so I'm using it all the time yeah so this if you have a little bit more budget I would go for this I don't think there would be a crochet who would buy this for themselves all the more reason to get them as a gift because these are just amazing and I think they also have a gray set if you're not into the pink one so just putting that out there and then okay so this is really the icing on the cake <sighs> we got this gift at blockers days just um, well just a few days ago um, and we were blown away so it came in this bag and the brand is Make Namaste or Namaste but their Instagram is Make Namaste you guys it's a backpack <laughs> so before you ask yes they come in different colors I realize not everyone is a pink person it comes in blush, which is this beautiful mauve pink. It comes in eggplant, which is kind of a wine red purple, uh, a dark teal, a black, and a light gray. So, five different colors to choose from. It is a little bit pricey, but it's just a gorgeous backpack. And let me show you what, like, it's just... Okay, first off, this is probably like the least interesting thing about it, but see this? This will go over your trolley case handle. So you can, um, you know, when uh, you, know, you take your carry on trolley and then you have your backpack and then you're trying to balance it on your trolley and it kind of falls off? Well, <laughs> you can actually put this around it around your trolley case and then um, it will sit nicely on top but that's the least inter interesting thing about it um, so I really like these straps and also <laughs> not a very interesting thing but so the make namaste or the namaste makers backpack has a beautiful namaste logo right here has some beautiful tassels it's all vegan leather um, there's also a cute stitch marker here with their logo. You can just see it. Um, okay, so let's first look at the front. There's a bag, or a pocket here. It goes up here. So you can put your passport in there or whatever. There is a pouch here. Larger pouch. Here, which really opens like that um, you can put your phone in there your I don't know notebooks pens I don't know you can put a lot of stuff in there then the inside so you have one large um, pocket and then you have a back pocket where you can put your laptop or tablet in and then on the front, you have a little thing where you can put your uh, yarn through. So it's a yarn guider, a 
believe that's what it what it's called. It's a Namaste logo and then you can put your yarn through and ah, just yes. And um, there are pockets here so you could put your ball of yarn in here or in here and then here are really small um, pockets that you can put your crochet hooks in. See? Or like needle tips. Then there's another pocket here. You can also put your yarn in here and have a guide through here. Um, what's this? Ooh. Welcome to Knitting Nirvana. Take this time to focus each breath you take, each stitch you make. This is where knitting and mindfulness meet. Namaste. Oh. Cool. Okay, so this is more information about the backpack. Your Namaste handbag is made from PVC free polyurethane, aka faux leather or vegan leather. Uh, extremely stain resistant, does require routine cleaning. To help you find knitting nirvana wherever you are, your Namaste bag includes a key leash with inch markings. What? Oh my god. Let me take these off. There's like a little key ring in the bag. Here. And attached to it are two straps. And one is marked with centimeters. I know, get this, right? And one is marked with inches. That is, I need more stuff like this in my life. Okay, that is awesome. Yep, so strapped to your bag. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so key leash, uh, patent pending yarn feeder, yes. We found that. Your, your bag is now a yarn ball. Yes. <laughs> Darning needle and mini dot journal. Okay, that's cute. So there's a little darning needle in there. And a tiny journal with dots. That's cute. And here on the on the end, uh, on the back of the card it says weaving in the ends is just the beginning. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay. Eco-friendly dust bag. Oh, that's the outer bag. This one, I think. They say it doubles as a project bag, but honestly, this is huge. is huge but uh, you could store your yarn in there obviously and decorative tassel with emergency lotus stitch marker emergency stitch marker right so the tassel and then the stitch marker so okay you can take it apart here oh see see you can bend that down and then And there you have it. That is so cute. Just can put it back. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to use this bag. So, oh right, I did not show you. There are more pockets on here. So there are two pockets, one on each side. So you can put a bottle in there. Or some yarn and then on the same like also on the sides but then on the inside you also have two pockets see one over there and it's quite um, difficult to show you this but also one on the other side there are so many pockets in this bag I love it 
So I'm just gonna show you how it looks on. I'm excited to use this bag because I am see it's just it's just perfect because I have a lot of off-the-shoulder bags or how do you say that just one shoulder and it gets really painful on that one shoulder and then I have a backpack that's not really very um, fancy so I think this is the perfect um, combination of the two so yeah I'm gonna be using this bag a lot and I'll be posting pictures when I do. This concludes my 2019 perfect holiday crafter gift guide. The link is down below for my blog post and more photos of uh, all of the products uh, and all of the links of course if you want to get those products for yourself or for the crafter in your life. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!